Hi, I'm Jared Nelson from the Investing Channel, and welcome to The Juice. Since retaking the CEO post at Starbucks earlier this month, Howard Schultz has upset some people. Longish story short, at the same time as suspending share buybacks to reinvest in Starbucks' workforce, Schultz subsequently referred to unionization efforts as some outside force looking to disrupt the company's culture and operations. Schultz appears to be playing both sides of the equation, simple as that. On one hand, the share buyback suspension. On the other, this leaked video where he and fellow executives clearly encourage managers to discourage unionization efforts. This only furthers Schultz's reputation as anti-union. So what does this mean for long-term investors? The day Schultz took over, on April 4th, we made the bull case for Starbucks, in part because of strong customer loyalty. The gist of our call was that reward members are growing heavily, and reward members represent the majority of sales. Since that call, the stock is down roughly 11.5%. The stock's off 33% over the last year. Trading around $78 a share, Starbucks reached a 52-week high of $126.32 in July of last year. So there's lots of ground to potentially retrace. Unless you're an experienced trader who understands how to navigate volatility, stay away. However, if you're a long-term investor, this is a classic case of buy when others are fearful. It would take a lot of union-busting rhetoric for loyal Starbucks customers to jump ship. Given the grief Starbucks already takes for crushing local coffee houses, much of it unwarranted, they would have been gone by now is a social statement. Instead, Schultz is actually taking a moderate tone. Given what they do for a living, the pro-union group who got a hold of the video wants to make it sound like Schultz is the worst person in the world. To shareholders and prospective investors looking to scoop up a bargain for their retirement portfolios, it doesn't quite come off that way. They might see it as Schultz extolling Starbucks company culture, arguing that formal union arrangements could get in the way of it and Starbucks doing the right thing by employees. The bottom line is this. Starbucks' international revenue increased 12% in fiscal Q1, thanks largely to 774 net new store openings, including 197 in China. Chinese new store openings drove 70% of the company's growth there. The union talk? In the grand scheme of things, it's noise. It'll come and go. Before you know it, the dust will settle, the hysteria will ease, and we'll look back on it as a moment in time. Continued customer loyalty across the globe and the pretty incredible story developing in China, it's these things we'll still be talking about one, two, five, ten years down the line. Not to mention Starbucks Dividend, which the company has not suspended and continues to grow at a nearly 16% clip over the last five years. Let everybody freak out next time a union-related story about Starbucks makes headlines. As they freak, you might want to buy a few shares on the dip. That's all we have time for today on The Juice. Click follow and subscribe to The Juice email for your daily dose of market minerals.